Hey guys, we got a 15 Outback right here. It's got some brand new Falcons on it. And customer says they're having vibrations. Now, they didn't get the tires put on by us, but we're definitely gonna help them figure it out. Open sesame. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is verify the customer's concern. And I don't wanna waste this test drive. I wanna collect some information. So I'm gonna be hooking up the Kiwi 3. Now the Kiwi 3 is gonna be connecting to my MVH kit. Plug it in. It's Bluetooth to my cell phone. You're gonna to wanna to download the NVH app. It is $99, it's on Android and iOS. So now that you got your Bluetooth device installed, you got the NVH app running, you do need to put it somewhere secure. You can't just lay your phone in the cup holder, you can't lay it on the dash. Some people like to shove it between the seat and the console. The NVH app is using your cell phone's accelerometer to pick up the vibrations and do the calculations for you. My favorite trick, I have one of those cornhole bean bags and I'll lay it here on the passenger floorboard. You can get like six cornhole bean bags for like 20 bucks. Or you can just make your, make your own out of a sock and some pinto beans. When setting up the app, you do need to record the information off the vehicle tires. You also need to make sure that the tires are all the same brand, all the same size, and have even tread depth all the way around. That does play a big difference, especially on these Subarus with the all-time all-wheel drive. Welcome to the main screen. Go ahead and select pick your vehicle. You're gonna be given a list of options on the bottom, or you can just search for what you're looking for really quick. When you find the car, it's gonna ask you what year you want, and after you select the year, it's gonna ask you which engine and transmission setup you wanna use. You can make a minor tweak, to the engine if you want, but I wouldn't touch anything if you don't know what you're doing. Trust the phone app. You'll also be given the option to select if you have different tires in the rear, like a muscle car. After that, enter in all the information that are on the sidewall of the tires. This is a garbage in, garbage out device, so don't get it wrong. When it's set up, select start recording, put the phone in the safe location we talked about, and let it go. Go on your test drive. Now I'm going to show you a recording of what I did for this vehicle. It's in times 10 mode, so it's going to look like a broken Christmas tree. All the red flashing are recorded vibrations. Now recorded vibrations are not bad. Everything makes a vibration when it's spinning at high RPM. You can use this phone app without the Bluetooth connection, but I do not advise it. The Bluetooth connection gives you really good information that you cannot obtain any other way. It's recording the engine RPM, and it's giving us precise vehicle speed. Without the Bluetooth, it can only record vehicle speed through GPS, and it's not really that accurate. When you click stop, it's automatically going to want you to save your recording. It's going to save the recording to the local device only. It doesn't have a cloud save option. So if you're hoping to pick up the recording on another device because you were using somebody else's phone, it's not going to happen. Someone's going to have to send you the file. When you click save, the app is immediately going to tell you what it thinks it is, and it's usually right. Uh, we have a tier one tire vibration, and as you can see, we had 491 tier ones on the tire. That means that there's one spot on a tire that is uh, causing a vibration every time it rotates 360 degrees. And we can go to the PDF and we can choose to print it from our device or we can email it to somebody, we can text it to somebody, or we can send them a MVH file and they can analyze it on their device. If we rotate the phone sideways, we can even look at a graph. I like this. Let's go ahead and deselect elevation, deselect the drivetrain, and deselect the engine. That's what D and E stand for. I only want to look at tires and I'm going to pinch in so I can see some more information and allow me to magnify it. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the beginning and see what's going on. Looking at the blue line, which is our speed, we could definitely see that the vibration increases as our speed increases. Pretty cool, huh? It was even catching those vibrations at 20 miles an hour. And the customer was saying that they could only feel them at 60 miles an hour. That's how sensitive this device is. Pretty cool. I also want to note that we had some vibrations as we are decelerating. That could be because of liquid in the tires from like fix a flat. 
And even though these are brand new tires, I have seen water in the tires because people who use the soap to lube them up, they use way too much soap and water and they'll leave about a cup of water in there. Okay guys, we're back. It only took 10 minutes to do the setup and the test drive and look at the information. Now the advantage of this test is we have concrete evidence of what needs to be done next. The customer has the PDF document. We're printing it out for them. They have the evidence in their hand. They can go contest it to the other shop or they can pay us to do the repair and take the bill to the other shop. It's their choice. Right now, the customer is only on the hook for the one hour of diagnostics. And we've shown the customer that our one hour diagnostics was worth it. Okay, I understand where a customer feels upset. They come into a shop, they just got tires on, and now they're like, what do you mean I need to redo all the work I just paid for? Hey, right here, evidence, okay? Look at the evidence. This is what I did, this is what I collected, this is what I wanna do. It makes them feel safer about what you wanna do next. What I'm gonna recommend to my customer is, I'm gonna let them know that I wanna take all four tires off, and I wanna check the road force and the balance of each tire. They could have thrown a wheel weight or one of these tires might have excessive road force and the rim has to be turned on the tire to balance it out or they could have a bent rim. All those things I'm gonna look for. There was also one spot on the graph that I was very interested about where the, the vibrations went up as I was decelerating in speed. Now, I see that when there's water in the tires or fix a flat, okay? So there's some sort of liquid possibly in the tires. What happens is when the tire goes around super, super fast, all that water goes to one side, cause a vibration. And then as you slow down, the centrifugal force is decreasing and the water is allowed to slow down and it causes that harsh vibration temporarily until it evens out in speed with the tire. It's pretty cool. You could try it yourself with a ball on a string, spin it around super fast and then stop it and, and watch the tension on the spring change until the weight and the speed even out again. It's really neat. All I have is a still photo of my undercarriage inspection. I guess I forgot to hit the record button. That's my fault. But we had two bent rims and I had all four tires with excessive wheel weight. The excessive wheel weight was because the shop did not remove the old wheel weight. They just added more weight and balanced the tire. You can't do that. Even if the tire balanced out, excessive wheel weight will cause a vibration. Of the two tires that I did rebalance, I did look inside them for water, and I found one of them with about half a cup of water. That proved my suspicion that the person installing the tires was really sloppy with the soap and water. If you made it all the way through the video, I congratulate you. Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments that you did. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions about MVH, please let me know. If you want to see more problems like this and breakdowns of MVH, let me know. I'll do them.